You're watching News 10 ABC at 9 a.m. Welcome back, everybody. I'm joined now by Manoj Ajamira. Perfect. Thank you. And Elizabeth Dippo <laughs> to talk about the weekend, uh, this weekend's Festival of Nations. Welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Amoj, you've been with it. Now, the festival itself, 50 full years. This is the 51st year. 51st year. 50 you, years we've been here. Yeah. Right. And you've been, you've been involved with it, you told me, from, from day one. Correct. The and first the past year 37 I was, as chair now. Mm -hmm. You got it. First year I was the dancer of the folk dance of the group. <laughs> then I got president of the, my Indian Association, so I represented. I loved it. Uh, the camaraderie with the people from different cultures, it's unbelievable. How many, and it, this happens at the Empire State Plaza, which is a, a really cool menu in and of itself. How many countries are represented? This year, because it's after the pandemic, yeah. we had done it virtually only last gotcha. two years. Mm -hmm. So we have 19 nations. We have had uh, as many as 26 at that yeah. times. See, over the years, we must have more than 40 countries. But sure. then some people, you know, take hiatus or they don't have enough people for right. one reason or the other. But it's been very successful. And any non-profit ethnic group is welcome to join. Mm -hmm. They just have to apply for it. And we, and we celebrate everything from the food and the dancing mm -hmm. and the music. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth, you were crowned Miss uh, Festival of mm -hmm. Nations last year. Yeah. Um, what's the experience been like for you? And, and, and what are those judges looking for? I felt incredibly lucky because when I did it, it was virtual. So I was on the Zoom camera and they're sure. like, surprise, you won. So <laughs> it's, incre it's incredible this year to see everyone in person. But for me, the judges were really just looking for someone who's genuine, I think. Yeah. Like someone who's willing to be themselves and be proud of who they are. And I think that's like, they're looking for someone who can inspire young girls. So like, obviously like insecurity is a big thing today. So someone who's able to like step out and be themselves and be mm. confident in who they are and where they're from is well like, said. means a lot today. Like well this, like she said, it's not a beauty contest. Like, absolutely. Judges yeah. look yeah. for yeah. Right. their poise, how they express themselves their involvement in the community mm -hmm. and overall personality. And you're a Scottish dancer. I am a Scottish dancer. Yeah. <laughs> Braemar Highland dancers. Awesome. Yeah. This year, we know everything inflation is expensive, but this is an event that really is affordable mm -hmm. for a lot of people if they, if they want to come and check it out. For the last 15 years or so, we have kept the same $5. Yeah. And where else can you see the glimpse of the world for five dollars and in five hours yeah. so i think the capital district should feel lucky that they have this available in their own backyard so, so come and enjoy and great education for children absolutely you know because they can really appreciate not their own culture but also cultures of the other countries and all and all the music and the performers mm -hmm. as well and and they get to taste some food absolutely definitely They're, every the country part. will <laughs> have their ethnic food mm -hmm. so most people or many people bring the empty containers so they can take some mm -hmm. samples so you can't eat all the countries you know <laughs> but they like to so they take the cake food home and i arranged to have giants who have a bye week I'm kidding, of course. Right? <laughs> That'd be some great pull if you were I know, and, that, and the <laughs> Mets, Mets right? and Yankees yeah. are out of playoffs. <laughs> so that, so it's Elizabeth, what, what would you have to say to, to, to kids who may be looking to, to represent their culture and want to get involved with the Festival of Nations? So I would say just like know who you are and where you came from. Because when I was asked to do Festival of Nations, it was through my dance school. And I was like, OK, great. I do Scottish dancing. But like, wanting to be prepared, I looked into everything and like what the costumes represent, what the dances represent. And it really just made me more proud of who I am. Like I'm at, my family is Scottish, like we have Scottish roots and being able to go and represent that just made me more proud of who I am. Thanks. So I would say to young girls, like learn about where you came from so you can know who you are, but more importantly, be proud of where you came from and proud of who you are. There you go. Yeah. Couldn't say it any better. It's all <laughs> happening this weekend real quick and the hours? Uh, 11.30, the door will open. Gotcha. And then after the Parade of Nations and opening remarks, will be continuous dancing. Mm -hmm. And the featured item is the Miss Festival crowning. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And then food, of course, people should love it. So there's, there's plenty of parking and it's inside. That's so right. don't worry about the weather. Don't work outside and enjoy the whole day with the family. Elizabeth, thank you very much. And we're going to have more with you coming up shortly. We're going to have some, uh, some food next door as well, talking about the cultural food that's going to be available this weekend too. So stay with us.